Hello, this is Chris Neal from South Plains College. Welcome to my Pro Tools how-to video series. This video is on how to set up Pro Tools to work in surround sound and is intended as a supplement to in-class lectures. So here are a few of the things that we're going to be covering in the video. There are many ways to set up Pro Tools to work in surround. This is just the one that I have chosen for my students for this project. Again, during the course of the video, you will see my keystrokes displayed at the bottom of the screen. And here is a key to the guide for the symbols that you will see. Once you're happy with where everything is, we're going to simplify our panning situation by routing tracks to only the speakers that they need access to. So here we go. So I'm going to open up the I.O. setup, and I know I've got my drums up front and some backing vocals and acoustic guitar in the back and so forth. So I'm going to create some sub paths to my S sub M. So I'm clicking on S sub M and I'm creating new sub path. So this first path will be stereo and it will be left and right. So I assign it. I go to path two, that's gonna be my left surround, right surround. So it's stereo and I assign it to left surround, right surround. And then I have something that's going to the quad. I wanna have access to the four speakers, but not the center. So I assign quad and I assign it to left. So I'm gonna double click the name and we see how it names the path. So I'm gonna delete this path right now, I don't need it. And you see how it named both of these stereo. So I want to name them more some descriptive. So I'm going to name it the speakers that it goes to. So left, right. So S sub M L R and F sub M L S R S. So that's descriptive name of where that path leads and S sub M quad. I like to have them in order of number of channels. So I have 5.0, then a four channel, and then two, two channels. Now this might get more complex during my mix and I can come back and make changes later. So my next step is if I'm happy with where things are, where they are panned, I'm going to make my mix a little simpler by routing instruments to the speakers that they will be output from. So I routed most of the drums to the left, right. So I'm going to assign those to the LR channel and the rooms to the LSRS. And then I'll continue with the other channels. So I've got my drums that are going to the left, right selected. So I choose option shift and I choose the S sub M L R. And that routes those drums up front. We see this round panel goes away. And now I select all my channels going to the surrounds. Hold Option Shift. And I select S sub M L S R S. And again, we see this round panel go away and we get our normal panel back. But now it's just panning between left surround and right surround. I forgot to uh, route these in my selection. So I select the guitar and the bass. And hold Option Shift. And I route those to the left right. Oftentimes in your mix, you might find you want to route something slightly different than you initially thought. So for example, I might want my vocals to go left, center, right, um, especially I have a double going on. So I'm going to create that path and then reroute those later. So I go back to my IO setup. I click on the S sub M path, create a new path. I'm going to assign that path to LCR and assign it to LCR. I'm going to drag it up into the order and I'm going to name it. Now, I don't want to double click on the name because it'll rename my stereo pass back to stereo. So I don't want that. So I rename it SBM LCR and hit OK. And now back on the session, I click on my vocals and I hold Option Shift and I go to bus and I select my new LCR path and that routes them. It's a good idea to check your routing, and I usually will do this much earlier in the process, uh, but I'll go in and solo up tracks and make sure they are metering on the appropriate channel since I didn't, we're not going to hear this video in surround. I've got my electric guitar, and I see it's routed to left and right, and it's metering on left and right. And uh, let's see what else we check here. We check the acoustic guitar. It's going out left round, right round. And that's where it's metering. And I'm going to command option control, click on the meters and make them bigger. Uh, solo up the drum rooms, they're coming out the left, right. Solo up the uh, background vocals, they're coming out left, round, right, round. Now that we have everything routed, we can go have some fun and mix.